19-year-old man has been found guilty of manslaughter at Bristol Crown Court. A jury dismissed K. Ron Sawyer's claim that he was acting in self-defence when he stabbed and killed Dante Davis in Lawrence Hill in Bristol on the 14th of October 2021. He was acquitted of murder yesterday. Sawyer was handed a sentence of nine years in custody by the Recorder of Bristol, His Honour Judge Peter Blair, with a further 12 months to run concurrently for possession of a bladed article. Blair said Bristol has had enough of knife crime. This case was the 15th incident. The picture of you holding a knife on social media is unacceptable. You took the knife, which was a high-risk action that was likely to result in serious injury and high degree of danger, although you had no intent to kill. The aggravating factors are your previous convictions in 2019, as well as the disposal of the knife and clothing in this incident to avoid being caught. The sentence is meant to punish you, but also deter others in knife crime. The court heard that Sawyers and Dante associated with different groups of teenagers and that there was a history of hostility between the two groups involving threats or use of knives. During the trial, the jury saw CCTV footage of an encounter that evening between Sawyers and Dante on Clarence Road. Dante was walking with two other boys aged 15 and 17 and the footage shows Sawyers riding a bicycle and stopping by the trio. He then wheels his bike up a grass bank and stops before the other three follow him into an alleyway leading to Hayes Close. Moments later, Dante lay dying from a stab wound to the heart as his friends called 999 and contacted his mother, who also rang for an ambulance. The 17-year-old boy stabbed Sawyers and admitted wounding with intent at an early hearing and he was handed a 24-month detention in training order. He will spend 12 months in detention and another year under supervision with restrictions in place and a requirement to undertake training. CCTV showed that Sawyers cycled away, returning briefly to collect his dropped phone. He was arrested after seeking medical treatment because he was stabbed also. His knife, phone and top were never found. Detectives found an image of Kieran Sawyers posing with a large knife on his social media and the month after Dante's death, Sawyers appeared in a music video posted on social media. The song's title and lyrics, Splash and Bang, and it showed a group of men in green bandanas similar to the one in Dante's possession, an emblem of his group. Senior investigating officer, Roger Doxy of the Major Crime Investigation Team said music can be a valuable way for people to deal with their experiences and express themselves. However, I believe it's clear from the lyrics and actions of this particular music video seeks to provoke ongoing rivalry between the groups. Sawyer's told the court he was trying to change his life for the better, joining a program which aimed to help him move away from violence. But on the 14th of October, he was carrying a large knife and was prepared to use it. The jury understood that he intended real harm. Dante and the 17-year-old were also carrying knives and the fight they engaged in had terrible consequences. The truth is that carrying a knife does not protect you. Carrying a knife leads to serious harm and heartbreak. The police said will continue to work with communities and partners on education and prevention to stop further lives being ruined. But rest assured of our determination to bring those responsible for knife crimes to justice. So guys, I just want to say rest in peace, Dante Davis, and my condolences go out to your family. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked. Keep it real.